Let's learn about the discriminant. Let's find the number of real solutions of each of these three quadratic equations. Let's first recall the quadratic formula. It gives us the solutions to quadratic equations of this form ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero. And those solutions are given by x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a. However, here we're not asked to find the solutions, but rather the number of real solutions. And this quantity here under the square root is what determines that. This quantity is what we call the discriminant. And if we think about it, if this discriminant, this b squared minus 4ac, is a positive real number, then there'll be two real solutions to this quadratic equation negative b plus the square root of that positive number divided by 2a, and negative b minus the square root of that positive number divided by 2a. So in this case, there are two real solutions. Now when the discriminant is identically equal to zero, there is only one real solution. Namely, x equal negative b divided by 2a, because in the numerator we'd be adding and subtracting 0. And finally, what if that discriminant is a negative number? then there are no real solutions. Because the square root of a negative number does not yield any real number, we'd have complex solutions, but not real solutions. So let's compute this discriminant for each of our three equations here. So for the first equation, we have a is equal to 3, b is equal to negative 6, and c is equal to 5. So therefore, our discriminant, b squared minus 4ac, is equal to negative 6 squared minus 4 times 3 times 5, which is equal to 36 minus 60 which is equal to negative 24, which is a negative number. Which means we're down in this third case, aren't we? Which means our first equation has no real solutions. All right, what about our second equation here? We have that a is equal to 3, b is equal to negative 6, and c is equal to 1, which means our discriminant then, this b squared minus 4ac, is equal to negative 6 squared minus 4 times 3 times 1, which is equal to 36 minus 12, which is equal to 24 which is greater than zero, which means we're in this first case down here. And therefore, our second equation has two real solutions. All right, and what about our last equation here? Our a is equal to three, b is equal to negative 6, and c is equal to 3, which means that the discriminant b squared minus 4ac is equal to negative 6 squared 
minus 4 times 3 times 3, which is equal to 36 minus 36, which is equal to 0. And therefore, we're in this second case down here, which means our third equation has one real solution. So the discriminant helps us determine how many real solutions we have to a given quadratic equation. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.